Today, we're looking at something really cutting edge in AI video. It's about making multiple people talk and interact in a video, realistically, uh, just based on their audience. That's right. We're digging into a research paper that introduces this new framework. Uh, they call it multi-talk. And it's tackling a pretty big challenge, you know, moving beyond just single talking head. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we are using Infinite Talk in ConfiUI to do three things. Turn a photo into a talking video, sync new audio to an existing video, and make two people talk in the same scene. After that, I'll give you two ready workflows, one for a single speaker and one for multi-talk. So you can drop them into your comfy UI and try everything yourself. So let's start. First, you only need a couple of files to run this. Infinite Talk comes as two model files. Infinite Talk single safe tensors for one speaker and Infinite Talk multi safe tensors for two or more. Download the one you need and put the model file in your Confuise Models Diffusion Model folder. For the base, I'm using the WAN 2.1 I2V image to video 480p model. It also works with WAN 2.1 Fusion X and the 720p build. Use the same text encoder and the same VAE you use for WAN 2.1. And to keep it fast, I turn on the Lightning 4 step LoRa with steps at 4 and CFG at 1. So here is how this workflow works. First, load your image or your video. Then, load the MP3 you want to use. Open the Resolution Master node and press Auto. It copies the size of your image for you. If you want a standard size instead, open the preset list and pick one. You don't need to add custom typing width and height. Next, go to the audio group. Use a load audio node to load the mp3. Use audio crop node to set the start time and the end time you want. This is the part I made easy. I added a math node that reads your FPS and the length you set. And it fills the exact frame count by itself. You don't need to calculate frames or type numbers. This is why the lip sync lands cleanly. Frames match the audio length. If I talk about FPS, you have two simple choices. If you are doing video to video, and want the same FPS as the source, turn on Get FPS. If you want a custom FPS, do the opposite. So moving on, set the right model first. If you are doing one person, image to video or video to video, pick Infinite Talk Single Safe Tensors in the Infinite Talk node. If you are doing two or more speakers, switch it to the multi-file. In the WAN Video Long I2V node, set the motion frames to match your FPS so the mouth timing stays steady. Use 25 when you render at 30 FPS, 20 when you render at 25 FPS, and 16 when you render at 16 FPS. If your colors shift or flickers between frames, Leave color match turned off. For the scheduler, any of these work well here. LCM or DPM++, SDE or flow match. Pick one and see how it looks on your card and stick with it. Keep steps at 4 and CFG at 1 when you use the lightning glora. So here in the first example, I am doing image to video. Make sure first turn off the video group and drop in one portrait. The photo is 1792 by 2368 
so i hit auto on the resolution master and it snaps to 2.1 friendly size on my screen it picked 720 by 960 i load a 42 second mp3 and set the audio crop from 0 to 42 if you only want 10 or 12 seconds just change the end time the math node reads your fps and fills the frame count for you in the infinite talk I pick infinite talk single safe tensors and steps are 4 and CFG to 1. Choose the DPM++ SDE scheduler and render. And here we have got the result. Infinite talk revolutionizes digital human creation by enabling unlimited length talking video generation FEI. No more time constraints. Here's how it works. First, upload just one image plus an audio clip and we generate perfectly lip-synced videos of any duration. Second, if you provide an existing video plus audio, we go beyond lip movements to reanimate full body gestures, making characters truly expressive. Our ultimate mission to create virtual humans indistinguishable from real people, fay with eye contact, natural micro-expressions, and fluid motion that pass the uncanny valley. Whether you are producing educational content, the lip sync is clean from the first word to the last, the mouth matches the words, and the small blink and head moves feel natural. On my GPU, this took a little over 20 minutes and used about 13 to 16 GPU free RAM. So I tried another example, and here in the second example, I am doing video to video with one speaker. I bypass the load image node and use the video loader instead. So you probably know where I'm going with this. Smartphone innovation has now slowed and most of us just want a reliable, secure and durable smartphone at this point. So six months after using the iPhone 16 Pro and it's proof. I drop in a 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS review clip, 998 frames. In the resolution master, I picked a WAN 2.1 preset at 832 by 480. I have uploaded a 27 second mp3, but I only need 12 seconds. So I set the audio crop from 0 to 12. Now I turn on get fps to keep 30 fps and the math node auto fills 360 frames. In the infinite talk node, I choose infinite talk single safe tensors. Set steps to 4 and CFG to 1. Set the scheduler to DPM++ SDE and hit render. And here the results are. An honest review will come from the perspective of a brand new Pixel user. But first, let's unbox it together. iPhone, but I won't tell you which phone is which, and you tell me which photos you prefer. The audio sync is clean. When he sees Pixel user, the mouth shapes match. When the voice poses, the head and lips pose too. Emphasis lend on time, so it looks native and not dubbed. The simple prompt, looking at the phone, natural review expression, works as intended. The subject keeps eyes on the phone and reacts at the right moments. Exactly what you want from a clean video to video lip sync. Now let's try another example. Here I am doing multi-talk with the two speakers. And I am using a separate workflow made for multi-talk. So I have switched to infinite talk node to multi and load the infinite talk multi safe tensors model. The base is when 2.1 IPv 480p with the same text encoder and VA you use for when 2.1. So here I have dropped one photo of a man and a woman sitting in a car. In the resolution master, I press auto 
So it picks a size that works. In the audio group, there are two load audio inputs. I have uploaded two MP3 files. The men speaker. The men speaks from 0 to 9 seconds. The woman speaks from 9 to 21 seconds. I set those times with audio crop on each audio. The math node reads the FPS at each clip length and fills the exact frame counts. So the switch from men to women lands on the right frame. And here, if you want more than two speakers, it's easy. Add another load audio and audio crop pair for each voice and set the start and end times. I keep steps at 4, CFG at 1, choose the DPM++ SDE scheduler and render. And now we have got the result. Today we're looking at something really cutting edge in AI video. It's about making multiple people talk and interact in a video, realistically, uh, just based on their audience. That's right. We're digging into a research paper that introduces this new framework. Uh, they call it multi-talk. And it's tackling a pretty big challenge, you know, moving beyond just single talking head. It looks natural. When the man talks, his mouth matches the words and the woman looks at him. When the woman talks, the man turns and looks at her. The eye contact and small head movements make it feel real. The video is about 21 seconds and the lip sync stays solid from start to finish. So that's the full run. You just saw image to video, video to video and two voice multi-talk in simple one setup. Load your photo or video, add the mp3, let the math node count the frames, keep steps at 4 and CFG at 1 with lightning, and pick the scheduler that looks best on your card. The lip sync takes care of itself. So that's it for today's video. If this helps, tap like, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see next. Thank you. Bye bye.